Hello, Shadowcat back with more RimWorld. And I got my fingers crossed. Please, please, please tell me that this, this gets better. Last time, of course, this happened. Yes. See how everything here has been scorched and burned to bejesus and back? Yeah, that was a mech cluster. Things went poorly. But, I mean, we mostly came through it okay. Kinda. So, uh, Margarita's dead. Again. And Mark was dead, again. But, I just so happened to have a Resurrector Serum that was available, and we brought Mark back. I can't do that again. So, I still have no idea what happened. And while I was editing, I went back and tried to see, you know, just what happened. Was Mark in a mental break? Did he decide to wander off? I have no idea. All I do know is that when I told everyone here to report to the front lines, everyone came here and Mark went that way. I, I, I have no explanations. I don't know. So, that was bad. That was very bad. However, as you can see, we got everything put back together. Um, getting together the steel to put the fabrication benches back was a challenge. Our transport pods are gone. I scrapped them. Um, wait, no, stop, stop digging there. Now we just need to have more, well, we, we just need to have more stuff. We need to have more steel. We need to have more of everything. We need to have more. But that's going to be a long process. We're working on it. Still going to be a long process. And I just noticed I have regular shelves in here. I didn't need to build any shelves. My shelves were already here. Oh, well, totally not important right now. So I do have this... Uh, this drill out here, but with no power, we can't use it. But the real important part is, since Mark is still alive, and well, Mark is still alive, I need to work on this. Now, we currently have four anima grass, and I think that we need to have 20? I think it's 20. We need to have 20 anima grass before anyone can get psychic powers. So Mark needs to spend as much time as he can down here. Which means that I'm just going to have Mark come down here and meditate as long as he possibly can. Now, if he's going to sleep for roughly 8 hours. That leaves 16 hours. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That sounds good. Then, we'll, we'll, we'll cut off a couple hours on either side, just in case he needs to get other stuff done. And Mark, you sh you you should be um, you should actually be meditating right now. There we go, there he goes. Okay, so he's gonna go and meditate there at the tree. Now that is a long process. It'll come in time. While he's doing that, we need to be working on everything else. And a large part of this, I think, is going to just come down to... Steel! We need more steel. Also, I think I want to turn these back on. We have plenty of, um... We have plenty of power. I think that we should turn these back on, but this room is not air-conditioned. And can we air-condition it? Let's see... Temperature. Coolers. I think we can. Um, put one there, we'll put one there. Hopefully we have enough steel. We have enough steel? Uh, no. No, we do not. Alright, cancel that one. At least I don't think that we do. We probably don't. Thunderstorm? I don't want to... I, I don't want a thunderstorm. Come on. Uh... 
we do have people that are melting slag down. It's giving us some. I'll wait until this is built. If we have enough left over... We do not. However, I already put a hole in the wall. So, I'll just queue it up. Throw all the steel in there. We'll get it done when we can. Over here... Um, we need an AI core. So I'm going to set it to do until X. X will be one. And it says we already have one? Wait, corpse obsession. Look, I'm sorry your wife died. Pulling her corpse out of the, the, uh, the thing isn't going to help. Listen to Cole. Cole knows what he's talking about. We'll bring back Marguerite as soon as we can. I promise. There's a textile trader in orbit, but a textile trader isn't going to do me any good. Um, we have that core. Uh, we need Luciferium. And we need 8. So, I'll just leave this at 10. That way, if we ever get below 10, we should work on making more Luciferium. Where even is the AI core? I didn't see it. Huh, I don't know. I have done a fair amount of cleanup in here, in case you haven't noticed. It almost, almost, looks decent. It's not, of course, but it almost does. So by and large, right now, we are just kind of buying ourselves time, waiting for things to happen. Mostly because until I can get more steel, well, I mean, we're, we're just not going to get anything. What are we researching right now? Pulse charge munitions, which would be great, except that without, um, without steel, we can't actually build anything. So you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to turn these off. Right now they're doing research into things that we can't work on. I need people running the uh, ground penetrating scanner. The more we can find, the more we can drill. And once we're able to drill out some steel, I mean, we're, we're in business. In the meantime, anything going on down here? I don't entirely like this. It is so very far away from the base, and it is so exposed. I wonder, could we put turrets down here, or will the tree not like that? The tree will not like that. Hmm. Can we build, like, walls? No. No, we cannot. Well, that's disappointing. So, I'm just gonna have to trust Mark every time he comes down here that Mark will be safe. It's not great. I mean, I suppose on the... On the flip side... Perhaps I could put a, a house down here for Mark and Art. Should we do that? I mean, I don't really see a reason not to do that. We have plenty of stone over here that'll give us a nice surface. Why don't we do that? Ruby has uh, inspired mining. I may be able to put that to use. Here's an idea. What if we build a house down here and... We'll build a house for Mark and Art, then once we bring back uh, Margarita, Wobbler and Margarita can have this room. This is going to be fun. Let's do something fun for once, while the androids are looking for steel. Okay, we're going to do something fun. So, first things first, I'm going to mine away as much of this as I can. Which shouldn't be too hard, I think. I don't want to expose any uh, any overhead mountain. Oh, wait. I can't actually build anywhere inside of this radius. I don't have to dig out any of this. All right, never mind. Cancel that. So where's the line? There's the line. I cannot build anything past that line. Well, that means that I could build right here, actually. So, how big do I want to get? What if we made just a standard room? 
14 by 14. I mean, that could be good, right? And we can divide it up. So I could put in a dresser and a bed and a nightstand just like that, which means that this room could be five by five. So seven by seven with walls. And that leaves us all kinds of room over here. It leaves us room for, I don't know, kitchen table. We'll make this house a home. Trust me, we will. So if we're going to build a house out here, let's make it tough. Well, as tough as we can. Um, we're going to need to have like a front door and a back door, apparently. And since they're going to be made out of granite, can we do like auto doors? Do we have auto doors? We do have auto doors. That take steel. Well, okay, fine. Um, so inside here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's just put a door there and a door there. Wait, why is this complaining about proximity? Oh, it's these shrines. Okay, never mind. This isn't going to work. Never, never, never mind, never mind. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so it's not just the animatory you need to worry about. It's all of these. So where's the new line? The new line is going to be there. And you know what? I bet I could incorporate some of the mountain. So if we start right here. There we go. 14 by 14. We'll have a 5 by 5 bedroom. And everything else here can be hollowed out. There we go. Now, let's try this again. Structure. Walls. There we go. And door there, door there. Oh, and don't forget the inside. But you know what? We can do wooden walls on the inside. Let's just worry about getting the... Um, we'll worry about getting the outer walls done first. This is going to be a nice house. The tree is up to seven anima grass, so that's good. We're making progress. And there we go. All the androids came to help out. I mean, that is what they're there for. Does mean that we're not getting any research done, though. Which, in this case, research means, you know, scanning. It's okay, though. It's okay. This will be worth it in the end. Power might be an issue, though. Also, can we make a TV? Uh, I want recreation. We actually cannot make a TV. I think that Mark should have a TV. So, uh, instead of researching pulse charge munitions, which we'll never be able to use, I think it's under vanilla expanded? Furniture, 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 waste disposal? We, we researched that? Oh yeah, we did. Have I even built so much as a trash can recently? Well, I guess not. However, with no steel, I'm not sure that I can make a dumpster. Miscellaneous. Large bin. <gasps> no, I can totally make them out of other stuff. But not synthaline, apparently. What about the small ones? Also, not synthaline. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, what stone do I have besides granite? Every map has at least two kinds of stone. We have marble. Marble's good. We can turn off the roof vision. And yeah, we can make ourselves some marble bins. Yeah, this'll work. Help keep everything clean. Uh, we can put one there. 
Oh, we definitely need one over here. That's a good place for it. We'll build some marble bins. Oh, good. And this is done. Okay, okay. Now, uh, wood. We should have plenty of wood. So there we go. There's wood. We'll put a door right there. Once we have the walls in, I'll see if I can get it all wired in. Where do I have power? Power goes all the way down there like that. Um, I don't have a whole lot of steel to... I don't have any steel to spare. Perhaps I should put a battery and a solar panel down there for Mark. What do you think? Can we spare a battery and a solar panel? I think we can spare a battery and a solar panel. Perhaps we should just make a little addition on the back of the house? Yeah, let's do that. We'll make it a backyard, actually. How do you like that? Backyard? Backyard. We need to have another door right there. And from here, we're going to go ahead and make sure that there's no roof in this spot. We will make sure that there are roofs over this, and we'll put the batteries right there. Now, is this going to be enough? Mm, I don't know. Probably not. And I still don't have any steel for actual wiring. Uh, as for roof, though, I said roof that and make sure there's none there. Actually, I want to leave this entire thing unroofed this far. That way, um, Mark and Art can come out and they have a backyard. A private backyard. It's good that way. How are we doing with the anima tree? We're up to nine. Progress multiplier was 100%. Does that mean this is going at 100% or am I actually getting 100% bonus on top of it? And that way, Mark will not have to go nearly as far. We'll even put a kitchen in here and uh, people will be able to come and eat. So Mark and Art will have their own private kitchen. Which means maybe I should set this up so that no one eats their food. So as far as lavish goes... Um... I'm going to go ahead and turn the meals off entirely. But, 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 everyone can have nutrient paste. And then we'll have a kitchen set up in here. And I will go ahead and make a special uh, assignment, designation, whatever, for Mark and Art. Ooh, what is this? A new quest is available, transporter down. Now this could be good. A shuttle of the Imperium of Oki has taken damage to seeking place to land. They want to land here. You know what? I'm inclined to let them because they're going to crash a shuttle and I can scrap that shuttle. So you know what? I don't even need anything from you. You can crash here for goodwill. Y'all landed kind of close, don't you think? Okay, now, that means that automatically, we are going to get raided. Now, the raid is going to head straight for them. Problem is, all of my people are going back and forth. Depending on where the raid comes in from, this could be trouble. Six hours until the, their shuttle comes. I expect the raid to come in at hour two or one. Oh, are you helping grow the anima tree? Thank you, Barton. That's helpful. Okay, here they come. Here they come. So, it looks like a whole bunch of... Tribals. Let's help out the Empire. Everyone report here.
Looks like we're going to be engaging, too. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set everyone to search and destroy, but I want everyone to come here first. Then spread out. Was that a triple rocket? Man, the Empire is seriously packing some heat. Only problem is, though, they're uh, one shot only. Mark, would you get back and find some cover? Why? Get back! You have a gun! Okay, they killed the noble. But you know what? I don't actually care. Sure, we missed out on the goodwill. However, number one, all these weapons on the ground we can smelt down. Number two, the 17% uh, of the shuttle that's left we can scrap. Mark, how bad were you hurt? Your right eye has been cut out. See, this is what you get for running in. Well, damn it. We needed to replace it anyway. Advanced bionics. We have an advanced bionic eye. So we're just going to have to install it. So I need all nurses to come in and do some basic triage. We don't have any big problems. Harper, why are you in a hospital bed? I don't know. We have perfectly good android pods. They want to stay in hospital beds. Okay, okay, whatever. In the meantime, we'll just make sure we go through, clean all of this up. I never actually did get an answer from anyone as to whether or not we should do a prison. So I'm guessing no one really cares enough if we do or don't. So I'm just going to go ahead and don't. We have too many people as it is. Mark is fully healed, so that's good. I mean, he got over not having an eyeball real quick. Uh, let's work on fixing that, though. So as far as work goes, turning doctoring off on everyone. Unicorn, you are still my best doctor at a 12. Wow, your skills really degraded quickly. That's fine, though. Um, so, eyeballs. So we need to install... Not a golden eye. I have a golden eye? No. We need to install an advanced bionic eye. Right eye. And there we go. So now Mark should come back and take care of this. Right? Right. Good. Okay. While he's traveling, we're going to move this one. We're going to move this down here. And I'm going to move this battery also down here. Now, a big battery like that should be able to sustain all of this no problem. 